Right, I've been looking forward to this bit all morning. I know you are. Yeah, I know, because yeah. it's just it's just such a fun item. Uh, because if you're planning on spending time with friends and family in the, in the garden, in the, in the rain, getting <laughs> the umbrella, rain. or heading on a picnic, again, umbrella. And no better crowd pleaser than a grazing board. Even the okay. word grazing board works. Yeah. Uh, Love a grazing board. Yes. And Cloda is here to help you impress your guests by pimping up your platter. Pimping up your platter. I mean, the weather is dreadful, let's admit it. Mm -hmm. So I felt like this is like a gorgeous summery sharing platters that we can kind of like bring summer in. We're going to do two sharing platters. We're going to do a meat and cheese. And then we're going to do a vegetable one with two gorgeous dips. Lovely. But I'm going to get you going creative. So this is the meat and cheese platter. You've got all of your ingredients there and I'm going to get you making your own platters, but trying to kind of recreate this one in a way. Now, I've got a couple of tips for you. Um, when you're doing it, you kind of want to mix up the cheeses. You want like a hard one that kind of is a, like a crowd pleaser, like a cheddar. You want a blue one, and then you want like a nice soft one like this. So kind of try to think of like the variation of cheeses on it. And then we've got some lovely salamis, because everybody loves salamis, and then put in some lovely fruit, because it softens it out, but also it's a great, like, palate cleanser. Grapes are mm. delicious for, um, like, palate cleansing, and so are apples and all the rest. If you like honey, add in honey. But what I will say, to make it beautiful, and it is definitely the most Instagrammable thing that people do all summer, is, like, the sharing platters, is to fill the whole board. But we have... I've been, like, trying to... I've been learning how to make these. They're so simple. These are called a rose... Uh, a rose salami. And they have taken TikTok and Instagram and everything by storm because they look so fantastic. And when I first saw it, I thought, oh, my God, they must be so complicated to make, but they're not. So I'm going to show you how to make them. Should we do it together? We, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm just cut, chopping things. Then I can't help myself. And then I'm going to leave you go, do all of that okay. while I go on and do the vegetables and the dips mm -hmm. and all the rest. OK, so what you want is a shot glass. You've got a shot glass. Or else you could use a cup or you could use any kind of glass. Okay. And then you want about nine or 12 slices of salami. This is Milano salami. We've got, you've got chorizo, so you've all different ones. And then what you do is you get the first like slice like that and then you pop it into your glass like that. And then, yeah, pop it down to How the far end. Down does it go? All the way down to the end. Okay. And then, you know, the little bit that's at the top, yeah. the kind mm -hmm. of overlapping part of it. Then you just pop that back like that. It's like you're folding a petal like that. So that's the first one. Do we have a shot of that? Yeah, so that's the first one. And then you do it again. Have you got your one done? You've, you're ahead of me. You're both ahead of me. Do you know me. the okay. problem with these things? It's like not eating the entire palette before you present it to I the rest know. of the family. It's I know, also... I know, that's so true. And then you do another one and you slightly overlap. So you slightly overlap it. And oh, I've bust my again. salami here, Claude. That one's a goner. And you need all these slices, yeah, about nine slices, is it? Clear? About nine slices. And then you just keep on doing it again. So you continue it. But the most important thing is when you're doing it is that it goes down far enough and then you pop it over the rim, you know, the excess over the rim, and then you slightly overlap it. See, when I'm popping that up, this is the other, the last one I put on, and I'm slightly overlapping it like that. Okay. I just don't feel then, this is going to go as well for it me. It is. I promise you. When I first did it, I thought, oh, this is going to mess up. This you is not You just keep going, be. layer upon layer. Yeah. Okay, right. so you just keep on doing it like that. How right? things working out there, just ramming it all in there, yeah, Joe. Yeah, I'm quite impatient. And then you basically, <laughs> and then you turn it over, and it becomes like that. Oh, hang on. Right. So you keep on doing yours. I'm going to go on and do the dips. Right. Okay, so for the vegetable platter, these are all beautiful vegetables. We've got um, our carrots, we've got cucumber, we've Josie, got that looks like French beans. Josie's made roadkill, <laughs> just... which is nice. We've got radishes, <laughs> and we've created kind of flowers, okay, in the middle. So we've created two flowers here of vegetables. And then the dips, these are all made from scratch. I've got hummus with harissa in it, and all you need is chickpeas, drained and rinsed, lemon, olive oil, garlic, tahini, or peanut butter works really well too, and then harissa. Blend them all together and it comes out looking like this. Pop it into your serving dish. I'm in such a happy place right now, Clover. you know that? <laughs> this is and my favourite thing to do. Put the harissa on top because it really brightens up all the colour and then just stir it in and then pop it maybe with some pumpkin seeds on top. Pop that into the middle that and then mm, the second dip is a creamy herb dip. This is one of my most popular dips. Uh oh. Um, all my friends make it. Fig issues. I've got feta, 
I've marinated in olive oil, lemon, lemon zest and lemon juice for about an hour in the fridge. And then you pop it in here and then you put in your herbs. So I've got fresh rocket, I've got um, dill, I've got mint, I've got chives. You could use any kind of soft herbs you want. Pop all those in here. And then I've also got Greek yogurt. I've got lemon juice, so a nice big squeeze of lemon juice. Salt and pepper. And then you whiz all that together. And it comes out looking like this. And this is fantastic. Now this is one of the best dips. It's so fresh, it's so creamy, and ends up looking like this. And this is your vegetable platter, which everybody can do. And it's fantastic, because you can do it ahead, pop it out, bring all your friends around, and then, you know, sit down with a glass of wine. Everybody shares it together. Guys, how are you getting on? Oh, I'm just having I'm the greatest time. Really, oh my God, look really, at yours, really Josie. enjoying this. Thank you very much. <laughs> bring your um, boards around. Right, I'll bring the oh, boards. Oh, hang around. on, I'm not done. Here we go. No. All right, all right. There we go. All right. I'll pop mine on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so impressed with mine. Oh. There we go. Look and at that. And also the use of um, that looks brilliant. Thank you. And oh. I think the key is is that you put hang on. everything. Mine needs a marrow. You need a marrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the key is, is You're that you, you use e everything that you need, you know, for your friends to mm. have a drink or your family, whatever, that it's all on one board. So it's stress-free. It looks so beautiful. And, and then you don't have to leave the table. Do you know my favourite bit as well? The do you do this game when you do this? You make your own little pies. So you put yeah, a bit like of grape, a bit of cheese, you roll it up in something like that, and the kids love doing that. Yeah, good and you have a tapas. Mm -hmm. Claude, I really enjoyed that. Thank you so oh. much. I'm very, very, <laughs> very happy with my outcome. Now